I like to work around here. Um, uh, that movie the other night I watched, that Broken Trail. You gotta understand, guys, that's, that's propaganda. The more than likely story is that they were prostitutes. And they were sold to a prostitute by flesh peddlers. And it was a woman, somebody stole her property. And then they got a hold of it. You know, this is a gold mine, right? You got real young Chinese prostitutes that are really attractive. All right. You get lots of money for cowboys who want to have sex with an exotic Chinese prostitute that's young and really attractive. All right. And then they train them like that uh, assassin on fucking uh, uh, Mariko san and Hunchen san. And, and so they're really well trained in sex to make a man blow his mind so they'll come back and spend more and more money to have sex with them, right? And then they can become a top madam, right? And so they become very, you know, it's very lucrative. Very, you know, Chinese acrobatics, things like that. So it's very lucrative. Lots of money, guys will spend more money to have sex with a Chinese hot acrobat than they will a fat, unattractive hog farm white girl who's not groomed and trained to be an actual sexual fantasy for every man. This is just Chi East meets West, guys. Just East meets West, right? And so more than likely the case of the story is he was a, an actual pimp and uh, to try to pass himself off as a legitimate lander. He, didn't, he gave that lady, he set her up perfect. He sent her to San Francisco where they could get better, con uh, better clients and more lucrative clients. Okay. to take her from a Wyoming prostitute to a San Francisco prostitute. You understand the letters better now. You just have to be able to cut through the Disney bullshit, Glory Road, Mulan. You know, just cut through their bullshit, Pocahontas. You know, <laughs> that's all you got to do. You have to sit there and go, they're full of shit. Right? And the West was horrible like that, especially in Wyoming. It was very lawless. And there's legalized prostitutions and madams controlled the cities with their charming Jimmy Stewart's and, and two rode together. And so they tried to make it into this charming, you know, they always try to romanticize the fuck that it was. And then when people had to deal with the fuck and it was very really hard, like people like Brigham Young, they tried to turn them into bastards because they have a lot of descendants that are self-righteous hypocrites. It's real simple. I got your St. George and Cedar City right here. You know, so I'll clean this mess up. You know, I'm real good at this, you know. For every uh, St. George, there's a McNary, right? And so, you guys gotta understand that. And, um, people trying to hack it out in the wilderness and be good people. You gotta understand when poor black folks went out to McNary, not everybody in town was a good person. When you get together with a bunch of people and you have a football team and it's, you know, a band of brothers. It's like, I don't want to be a band of brothers with that motherfucker. He's, he's talking about shooting his girlfriend. He deals drugs. And he threatens to kill you if you say anything to the coaches. I don't feel like winning anything for him except for a jail cell. I'll say, Good, put that nigga away. He's dangerous. Right? Put that motherfucker away. He's a hoodlum. He's a pimp. He's a fucktard. Uh, he's an asshole. He's like the guy that don't hurt them children. Last night on that movie, I watched on Grit. Right? Was it great? Yeah. Propaganda. We need more money. We got to romanticize our heroes from the past. You don't have to. David don't need more romanticizing, man. He's beautiful. Jesus doesn't need your mythological creature. And his, his deed and his faith and his courage stands on its own. You don't need to be a man that brings himself back from the dead, comes down from the sky, and saves you all from being hoe cake factory murderers with propaganda and, and theme parks. Okay, you understand? Don't fuck with me. Okay, you come in here. You ain't get your ass kicked if you don't show up and stop trying to sell your ass for money. Okay, so you will get your ass kicked. Lots of dreams last night about uh, Miss Lopez. One of was uncomfortable was with this. I was in a position with this young girl. She was in a sexual position. I'm tr trying to cop a feel. Like, You're a pervert. It's like, if you knew you were going to be sexually abused by the worst corporations in the history of the world and you tried to be the most faithful, protecting, 
uh, King David you could possibly be. You try to get a little sexual comfort anywhere you could if, if it felt cons consensual. <laughs> the big thing about it is, is this, guys. They have these pervert scientists and these corporations in my house manipulating things. I don't go to bars. I don't go to titty bars. Remember Sachko? One of the prettiest girls I ever saw. She was drinking Jamar Miller, linebacker from UCLA for the Arizona Cardinals, right? And she asked me, she goes, are you, I thought you were gay. I'm a single dad. Well, you still could have been gay. But it's like, why, why don't you come like the rest of straight guys and see me at the bar, you know, at the club? It's like, you can't get seven-year-olds into a strip club. And why would I go waste all my money that I have to take care of Patrick, making you and Jamar have a better time going shopping at Fast El Fast Question Square? That's just stupid. <laughs> it don't make no sense. Sexually frustrate myself because you're having sex with a professional football player and I'm paying your bills so you can hang out with him and go shopping and, and go Dutch treat so you don't look like a gold digger. That's just fucking stupid. I didn't say that to her. But uh, in the back of my mind, I'm sure fucking think of it. Right? <laughs> really? <laughs> you can only hope to get me in the sack and then tell Jamil Mirror. Dinkle man's better in the bed than you. Yes, he is. I got told that by women that had sex with uh, professional athletes. Yeah, you're way better in the bed than those guys are. You really make a woman feel like you're at Disneyland and she's the best ride. Well, yeah. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Seriously. I mean, a woman shares herself with you. That means she wants, to, that's showing her that he's showing you on a subconscious spiritual level that she wouldn't mind having children with you and raising kids with you because she thinks you're a good guy, All right? I never offered any women money for sex. Okay? Never, not once, okay? Because right. women aren't prostitutes. Women are mothers. Women are sisters. Women are grandmothers. Women are how, uh, Patrick, you know, this is about your grandma, your mom. You fill up my senses, right? Son, you know, we can't exist as men without women. Okay, we have to do our best to understand them and love them no matter what we go through with them. Otherwise, we cease to exist and we cease to praise God and we cease to love. Okay, we're not capable of loving women no matter what we're given from women when they buy the devil's bullshit and say, buy it too. Life's eternal grace is infinite. Keep teaching the gospels. They can cut your balls off. They can try to murder you all off the face of the planet, destroy your seed, throw you into concentration camps and try to murder all the women that will give birth to men like you and just keep going. That's horrible, Dad. Yeah, it's horrible. But would you rather be like all the people in the concentration camps, giving us a social media invasive uh, mind programming because they teach people through Wi-Fi manipulation to be better people than someone like me and King David? Seriously? Okay. <laughs> Fuck no. Let's go look this one up. Cause um, let's get on it. Um, it's 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 obviously an algorithm thing that it takes two hours for the public access in any way, shape, or form once I post on here and put it on YouTube. No, it probably has a little to do with Jeff Bezos, like, you know, the federal things and stuff. And they said, well, he's a good CEO. He lets us because he has to, you know, he has to Jennifer Lawrence and Leonardo DiCaprio and Keanu Reeves through his way through this shit because, you know, the only one that can handle it, fix it, and explain it to you and tell you not to do it anymore is a guy like King David. Early bird. Okay. Hi, I happen to be early bird. I'm not taking my talents to South Beach. Because NBA championships are for chumps. Okay, living the Lord's Prayer is perfect, brave, courageous, and strong. Where's my, I don't want my little crown. I don't wear a crown. That's for pussies in England that pretend to be like me, but they're, I'll throw a picture of you. Oh, photos and recuerdos. All right, guys, love you. Peace.